Hi, my name is Joe, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily change the fonts of your WordPress theme or any other WordPress theme there is. So we're looking at Float, which is a premium WordPress theme made by Themify, which has built-in options to easily change the fonts. Most premium WordPress themes are going to have the option built-in to change the font. If you're using a free WordPress theme such as 2016, you might not have the option to change your fonts built in. So the first thing I would do is go to your customizer and check to see if your theme has any options to change the fonts. So I'm going to go to customize. Now on the left side you'll see all of the customizer options. So for example, say I wanted to change this float heading to a different font family. So go to this heading one font and I can change the font to something else very easily. Or if I want to change, say I want to change the body font, I can go to body, body font and I can change that to something else very easily. So say you're using a free theme such as 2016. So I'm going to change the theme to 2016 to show you. So these are the options for 2016. And I don't see any options to change the fonts except in colors. You'll see there are some options to change the colors but you there are no options to change the size or the font family so if you want to change the size of the font or the color or the font family you're going to need a plugin for that so i'm going to activate and then i'm going to get out of here and go to your dashboard and then i'm going to go to plugins and add new Then I'm going to search for Easy Google Fonts. And that will bring up a plugin that makes it very easy to add Google Fonts. It has more than 300,000 installs and five star reviews. I use, this, I use it for many of my websites. It's a plugin that I highly recommend. So click Install Now. Then click Activate. So now if you go back to appearance and then go to customize, you'll see there is a new option called typography. So click on that and then click on default typography. So in here, you'll see you have paragraphs, which is usually the body of the page. And then you have heading one, heading two, all the way down to heading six, which are usually the headings. Heading one is usually the blog post title. So let's say we wanted to change the paragraph, which is the body of the page. Um, this page we're looking at doesn't have any. So let, let me, I'm going to close out of here and I'm going to go, I'm going to go to a page that has some text. I want to view this blog post. This has some text. I'm going to go back to customize. Then typography, default typography. And then I'm going to click this edit font under paragraphs. And I'm going to go to font family and I'm going to try Roboto, which is a popular font right now. And you'll see it changed to Roboto. And then if you click appearance, we can change the font color to whatever we'd like. Now say we want to change we want to change the page title. So that would be a, that's a heading one most likely. Not always but usually a heading one. If you want to check to see if that's a heading one what you would do is in Google Chrome or Firefox or Explorer you would right click on it and then go to inspect and then you can see right here it's an h1 so it could be an h2 or h3 so that's what 
any one is an H1. So if you click Edit Font and then select Font Family and try to change it to something else, you'll see it didn't change. So let's try to change the appearance, see if that works. Okay, so that worked. So occasionally, depending on the theme, changing the heading one won't take effect. And the reason that is is because the theme has some styling that is overriding this heading one. So right here we have this heading one selected, and if you scroll down here, you'll see it has a font family of Montserrat already selected for it. So we need to override this. So if I uncheck it, you'll see that it works. But theme has a font family already selected, so we need to override that. So to override that, first I'm gonna save and publish, and then I'm gonna close out of here, and I'm gonna go back to the dashboard, and then I'm gonna close inspector, and I'm gonna go to settings, and Google Fonts. In here we need to create what's called a font control. So I'm going to call this heading and then click create font control and then here we need to add a CSS selector. So I'm going to open a new tab and go back to the page so we can inspect. I'm going to right click on the heading and go to inspect. And you'll see this is an H1. So the selector for that will be H1. So I'm going to enter H1, and then I'm going to check this checkbox for styles override. And that will override the theme, which is already changing the font. So that will override it to use our font. So then click Save Font Control. And then go back to Customizer, Appearance, Customize. Go to typography and then now we have a new menu item called theme typography. Let's click on that and you'll see this has the font control we just created which is heading. So click edit font and then let's go to font family and now let's see if we can change it. And now you'll see it'll change to whatever font we want. You can also change the font weight, maybe you want to make it more bold, um, you can change it to all uppercase, or if you go to appearance, you can change the color to an orange, or you can change the font size. Now sometimes you might want to change um, something you want to change a header that's only for a certain page or a certain section you don't want to say you don't want to change you don't want to change all the headers you just want to change a certain one so in that case you're very likely going to need to use what's called a class so I'm inspecting I'm inspecting the site title and you'll see it has this class attribute called site title. So say we wanted to change the site title. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save what I have, uh, close out of here, and then we're now back here where we can create a font control. So I'm going to click this create a new font control. So this is site, site title, like create font control. So now for the selector, if we go back to web page and you click on this arrow right here, you can highlight certain things. So I'm going to hover until I highlight the title. And so we want to change that. So this one has a class. So if we copy the class, go back here, and I'm going to enter a P and then a dot and then the name of the class. So for whenever you use a class, you 
prefix it with a dot that signifies it's a class. If you're going to use, uh, for example, we go back, if you're going to use an ID, for example, this one has an ID attribute, masked head. In that case, you prefix it with a hash. So you would prefix it like this, masked head, like that. We don't want that, but if it's an ID, you prefix it with a hashtag. So we just added p.site-title. So I'm going to click this checkbox to force styles override, and then click save font control. Then I'm going to go back to the customizer. Go to typography, and then theme typography, and you'll see we have our new font control site title. And if I go to edit, and say I want to change the font to something else. I can do that. So the reason that's useful is because this is a P tag. And usually the body of the page is also a P tag. So if I were to change the font of all P tags, it would change the site title and the body, but maybe I just want to change the site title. So by adding that class of site title, I only am going to change the site title and not the body. So that's why you might want to use a class for certain things when, when you need to get more specific. If you have any questions on using classes or IDs or um, having, if you're having trouble changing the font for a certain part of your website for whatever reason um, you can ask uh, in the comments section post a link uh, a link to your site and I'll take a look and we can figure it out together also if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel I'm going to be creating some more videos on how to customize WordPress so please subscribe thank you very much